I'll show you a 2012 American sci-fi action thriller. Spoilers ahead, so relax and enjoy. Joe, an assassin, or looper, uses a futuristic shotgun to kill targets sent from the future. These targets are people who will be sent back in time to be killed by their younger selves. This is necessary because disposing of bodies in the future is nearly impossible, so killing their future selves closes the loop. Joe works for a crime syndicate managed by a man named Abe from the future. Later, Joe enters a diner for coffee and then goes to buy gas for his car, exchanging silver bars for cash. He helps Seth with his bike, offers a ride to LaBelle, and ends up meeting his colleagues when Susie is unavailable. Joe wakes up to knocks on his window and finds Seth panicking about not completing his assignment because of a future person called the Rainmaker, who plans to overthrow the bosses and close all loops. Following the loud thud on his door, Joe and Seth discover that Abe's elite gammon are seeking to capture Seth. In desperation, Seth implores Joe to hide him, and Joe reluctantly obliges by concealing him in his apartment's floor safe. Kid Blue arrives, threatening Joe and promising to speak with Abe while his men search for Seth. Later, Joe meets with Abe, who demands Seth's whereabouts in exchange for half of Joe's saved silver bars. Despite initial reluctance, Joe reveals Seth's location to protect his future plans, thereby betraying their friendship. Abe's gammon proceed to apprehend and torture Seth. Then they mercilessly cut an address into his arms and sever his body parts. Old Seth experiences sudden physical effects, prompting him to head to the tattooed address on his arm instead of fleeing. However, Kid Blue arrives and shoots him upon reaching the location. Joe confesses to Susie that he lets Seth die for his silver bars and offers to share them to start a new life together. But Susie declines. The next day, Joe discovers his next target is his future self, who is unmasked and unbound. It's you. Joe attempts to kill him, but is overpowered and knocked unconscious by old Joe. Joe wakes up to a note telling him to run, but he ignores it and returns home, only to find the Gaiman searching for his silver bars. He fights Kid Blue and defeats the rest of the gang, but falls and loses consciousness. In an alternate timeline, Joe uses his silver bars to kill his older self and follows Abe's advice to move to Shanghai. There, he becomes a hitman to support his drug habit and indulgent lifestyle. As his bars run out, he turns increasingly violent to survive until he meets the love of his life. With her help, Joe breaks his drug addiction and transforms his life. Old Joe meets with his younger self the next day at a diner where they share their knowledge of the future. Old Joe reveals his plan to kill the Rainmaker as a child to prevent his wife's death. It's hard into your eyes. It's too strange. Your face looks backwards. He shows Joe a map with the identities of the Rainmaker, but Joe disagrees with the plan. Old Joe becomes desperate to save his wife, and the tension between them rises. Joe knows he must stop Old Joe from leaving the diner alive. Old Joe pulls out his gun, but Joe continues to listen. Later, Joe learns that Old Joe's wife was killed by the Rainmaker. Old Joe warns that his fate will be the same as his own. But Joe interrupts to say he will marry a different woman to avoid that outcome. He asks to see pictures, but Old Joe refuses. The argument escalates into a gunfight inside the diner, and Kid Blue and the Gaiman join in. Old Joe escapes, and Kid Blue chases after Joe but fails to catch him. Both Joes escape with parts of the map. Joe follows the map to a farm where Sarah and her son live. Sarah hears a noise and sees Joe outside her kitchen door. Sarah points her shotgun at Joe when she sees him outside her house, but Joe hides and refuses to reveal his face. Later, Joe sees Sarah about to shoot a beggar seeking food and intervenes to save her. He throws up and Sarah slaps him to snap him out of it. Sarah gives him water to freshen up. Sid discovers the man outside their house, and the next day Joe wakes up in handcuffs. Sarah checks on him in the barn with her shotgun. Sarah gives Joe the key to uncuff himself, but he refuses to leave her farm and gives her the paper with the numbers on it. Sarah recognizes the numbers as Sid's birthday and the location of the hospital where he was born. She shoots Joe twice as he tries to explain that time travel will be invented in the future and used by criminal syndicates. Sarah guesses that Joe is a looper and he confirms it. He explains that old Joe will kill all three children born at the hospital on the same day to prevent the Rainmaker's rise to power. If the Rainmaker is killed, 
Joe will vanish from existence, reuniting with his wife from the future. Old Joe kills his first suspect but breaks down after killing an innocent child. Joe keeps his promise to protect Sarah and Sid while they wait for Old Joe's arrival. Joe's relationship with Sid grows closer, and Sid eventually tells Joe that he knows what happened to his biological mother. The next day, Sarah lies to Sid about it. Jesse, a gammon, comes to the farm and tries to enter the house by asking for water, but Sarah talks to him. Sid and Joe hide using a tunnel, and that night, Sarah reveals that she has above-average telekinetic powers. I know you're not lying when you say you're gonna kill this guy. She is trying to protect Sid, who has inherited the power through his genes. Joe wakes up to find Jesse holding Sarah at gunpoint, and he tries to negotiate with Jesse to release her. However, Jesse accidentally points the gun at Sid after seeing him upstairs. Sid then suddenly falls downstairs, and Joe tries to catch him. However, Sid only receives a minor injury terrified. Sid kills Jesse using Telesis, while Sarah pushes Joe to go outside and save themselves. After Joe realizes that Sid will become the Rainmaker, and that old Joe will know about it. As Joe shouts, Sarah explains everything to him. Joe pushes her and asks if Sid is the one who killed her sister. Suddenly, Sarah starts panicking because she doesn't want Sid to be killed. Convinced, Joe tells Sarah to go to the city with Sid as soon as possible, before Old Joe finds them. Meanwhile, Kid Blue captures Old Joe and takes him to Abe. However, Old Joe breaks free upon their arrival at Abe's headquarter. Old Joe then becomes aggressive and kills Anne as henchman after Old Joe goes to Sarah's farm too. Towards the end of the movie, Kid Blue escapes from the headquarters and follows Old Joe. Despite being shot in the leg, Kid Blue still tries to kill both Joes but fails. Eventually, Old Joe catches up to Sarah and Sid on the road, but Joe manages to kill Kid Blue. Old Joe starts shooting at them while they run, and in the chaos, Sid witnesses Sarah getting shot. He suddenly activates his powers and almost kills everyone before Sarah calms him down. Sarah positions herself to block Old Joe's line of fire, while Joe sees everything from afar. Joe realizes that Sid will become the Rainmaker if Old Joe kills Sarah, so he decides to commit suicide and shoot himself, erasing Old Joe's existence and saving Sarah and Sid from their fate. The movie ends with Joe's sacrifice, preventing Sid from becoming the Rainmaker. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like to support the channel and see more videos like this.